In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this very simple um, wood texture that's not extremely extremely realistic, but um, it it's okay. And this is going to be part of my Beginner's Guide to GIMP series, which is where I show you guys simple and easy tutorials or just um, tutorials that make you get to know how to use GIMP and how um, and make you get to know the filters and all the tools that it, um, GIMP has to offer. So go ahead and open up a new image, and um, I'd recommend making this image slightly larger than your actual planned um, image size because we will be cropping part of it. Now get your bucket fill tool, which is over here in your toolbox, and you can also um, get it by pressing Shift and B. Um, it's just the paint bucket with the paint spilling out of it. So just click on that, and we need to change our foreground color to this grayish color. So um, normally when you open up GIMP, it should be black and white. So just click on that uh, rectangle, um, the front one, and select this gray color. And um, that, if you want to get this exact gray color that I, I'm using, it, the HTML notation is 474747. And all you need to do is just type that in in your HTML notation, um, which is right here in your um, color window, and just select OK. Now just click once on your background layer and it should fill that in. Then go to Filters, Noise, HSV Noise. Um, and obviously this simply adds noise to our image. And Holdness 8, Hue 0, Saturation 0, and Value 255. And select OK. Now you should get something like this. Now you need to go to Colors, Colorize. And I will be giving it a kind of yellowish orange brown color. So here I'm going to drop to about 40. I'm going to turn up the saturation a little to about 60. Then select OK. Now go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. And what you need to do is make sure your blur type is on linear, which it should be if it's on the default settings. Um, and under Blur Parameters, um, length you can always adjust. Now this will probably depend on your image size. So I'm going to go with a length of about 100 and angle 0, and select OK. Um, and the reason I said make the image a bit larger is because if you can tell at the side, um, down here at the side, it kind of didn't blur completely, and it kind of gets that grainy, I suppose, texture. So I'm just going to get my crop tool, which you can get by pressing Shift-C, or just by locating the crop tool in the toolbox. And what you need to do th with this is just drag, click and drag, and um, just drag the um, rectangle box over the portion of the image that you want to keep. And then it should highlight that portion or um, and darken out the portion that you want to crop out. And then just click once on that part, and it should crop that part out. Um, now go to Filters, Distorts, Eye Warp. And what this allows you to do is simply warp your image. So I'm going to, my uh, deform radius is on 32 and my deform amount is on 0.3. And right now I'm just going to select move and what I'm going to do is just click and kind of like make um, a wavy motion but not too much so just click and kind of Actually, I'm going to lower my deform radius a little and if you uh, don't like what you get you can always press reset so you know and then I would also recommend using the swirl counterclockwise and the swirl clockwise arrows, uh, not arrows, um, options. And you can always just randomly, and then once you're done with that, select OK. Um, now mine doesn't look great, it probably doesn't even really look too much like a wood texture, but you can always play around with it and get a pretty decent result. So the tutorial's over, but some of you guys might know that um, I'm doing this little thing where I try to answer your questions that you guys leave in the comments section um, at the end of my video. So if you guys don't want to watch this, then just click away. Um, I'm talking quite fast, not that fast, uh, because I kind of want to don't want to waste too much of your time. So God One Hour asked me on my last video, who is my inspiration for starting Gimp tutorials? Um, I gotta say, don't really, not too much of inspiration. Really myself, um, I started using GIMP because I was tired of paint and I found GIMP and I really liked it, thought, hey, you know, tutorials might be pretty easy. Turns out tutorials are not as easy as I thought, um, but yes, sorry to, that I don't really have someone who inspired me. Um, I started reading tutorials, I started, um, I read a lot of tutorials before I started making tutorials, um, so 
Um, I suppose those tutorial makers were kind of my inspiration, but not too much. Um, so I can't really say that one certain person was my inspiration. So if you guys have a question, just leave it down in the comments section below and I'll try to uh, answer it.